watching TVC News. The House of Representatives held its first retreat for the review of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in Ikotapene, Akwaibom State. The review, among other objectives, is to receive the report of the experts' consulting committee, an appraisal of previous amendment bills, especially those that were either not passed by the national or state assemblies or were not given assent by the president. TVC News, Miriam Daniels reports. The retreat seeks to address fundamental national issues for amendment, such as local government autonomy, resource control, revenue allocation, state police, among others. The governor of Akwaibem State, Umoino, who was represented by the deputy governor, wants the amended constitution to capture true federalism to allow states to benefit more from their natural resources. The issue of devolution of powers from the center to sub-nationals to make Nigeria a proper federation has been a recurrent decimal since the promulgation of Decree 34 of 1966 by the military, which set the nation on the path of a unitary federalism. The deputy speaker and chairman of the committee gave a deadline of December 2025 as a targeted time for the committee to achieve its first set of amendment. They want to involve the houses of assembly early enough, not after the job must have been done, not after we have passed the constitution, we just dump it on them. The chairman of conference of speakers of state legislators, Adebo Oguntoi, and other members of the committee described the Constitution review as timely and a historic journey in Nigeria's democracy, considering the national challenges facing the citizens. Our decisions or resolutions of the Parliament at the national or state assembly level at the review of the amendment of the Nigeria Constitution must reflect the wishes of Nigerians in order to achieve an acceptable, implementable and enforceable constitution. The alternate gender policy would mean that if we have a deputy speaker, a speaker of the House of Reps as a, a male, then the deputy speaker ought to be a female. This constitution review, it is hoped, will give Nigerians a constitution and a country they can be proud of. It is hoped it will reflect the wishes of the ordinary Nigerians. Miriam Daniels, TVC News, Ikot Ekwene, Akwaibom State.